In the following video, we are going to talk about cryptocurrency bubbles. As a result of the fact that it is the most positive gathering we have ever hosted about the topic of Bitcoin ever since it has been addressed, the Bitcoin conference. People appear to be becoming more pessimistic for reasons that are not entirely clear. I don't understand it at all. A disclosure is made by John Dion regarding his cryptocurrency holdings. Since the Ethereum exchange traded fund ETF and the Bitcoin ETF are both performing exactly as we anticipated, we are going to investigate both of them. Moreover, XRP is on the verge of seeing a major boom. Yes, a significant boom. I've got you out of trouble. Hold your position. Distress and let's get started with Bitcoin right away. The price of Ethereum, which is currently trading at $1.316 and has a value of $64,500, has decreased by 8.77%. Considering that USDC is currently trading at a dismal 99 cents and USDT is getting closer and closer to its dollar pips, it is almost as if XRP has converted 60 cents into a magnificent bottom. Right now I'm holding onto 60 cents and it's down 3.9%. Before not too long ago, I was under the impression that we were at 61 cents on this item. I don't think my eyes are going nuts or anything. As you can see, we conducted another test on the threshold of 63 cents. Despite our best efforts, we were unable to surpass the previous high on XRP, which was 64 cents. We were working toward achieving a higher level of success. And we have not been successful. What should we do from this point on? In any case, as I stated at the beginning of the week, things are going to become difficult. The overall market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is $2,324 billion, which is a weak and extremely volatile to a loaded week. This is exactly what the market capitalization of cryptocurrencies is. It is excellent news that CryptoVolt has now been granted a banking license in the United Kingdom. Those who, after a great deal of development, this is finally available to the public. This assertion asserts that Revolt has entered a mobilization phase that is designed to facilitate the establishment of new banks. Pay attention to these constraints and have a look at this. Which things have we already observed in this area? My understanding is that the adverts, namely the Ethereum inline advertisements, are ETF states. According to the Credential Regulation Authority, Revolt was awarded a banking license that was valid for three years but with some restrictions. It took them three years to submit an application for a banking license before they were finally granted one. In light of XRP, let's take this into consideration. The amount of time it required to understand how banks and governments operate with Ripple is reflected in XRP. Ripple is one way to acquire a license. In your opinion, how much time do you think it will take for Ripple to convince these banks to improve their outdated banking systems, make the transition from the old to the new financial system, and then incorporate a digital asset? The process of obtaining a license for Revolt took three years. When dealing with governments and banks, the process is one that is both difficult and slow. Now that it has received approval from the revolt, it is well on its way to become a fully operational bank in the United Kingdom that is authorized to offer services related to cryptocurrencies. This is quite shocking to hear. The term bank payment company is something that I suppose they might or might not be referred to as. The process of becoming a there will result in a great deal more. In light of this, and this is the result that is sought, acquire additional cryptocurrency and assemble all of these transactions in a one location. Be sure to have your cryptocurrencies on hand because there will be further firms that are comparable to this spin-off. A license is necessary in order to acquire the license. And after that, other people will be able to take the same exam. It is not going to take three years for each of them. By the time you know it, this will. Appear to be a process that takes between 24 and 48 hours and it will begin to move more swiftly for each and every business that applies. Get them in, get them out, get them all ready and have them ready to leave right now. Bada bing, bada boom. We take a look at it. The website known as Crypto Bubbles provides an example of how to break it down on an hourly basis. This provides a list of every cryptocurrency that is currently available, arranged by to market capitalization day and other factors. The list is organized by week, month, and year. There are a significant number of entries in this list that range from 1 to 100%. It is possible to view much more by scrolling down. On the other hand, as you can see, everything has a negative in front of it. I am curious as to why people are currently portraying cryptocurrencies in such a negative light. At a time when the most significant Bitcoin conference is going to take place, everyone is, in fact, seeing the current situation in a bad light. Currently, Gala is getting beaten. Yours truly, Gala. She. In fact, I don't even bother to look at the Gala Gala. The idea is revolting to me. I solemnly swear to tell you the truth in every single matter. Cardano is yet another cryptocurrency that is currently a complete and utter abomination. Nevertheless, each of these will make people better. The Bitcoin. 
Conference is only one example among many more. In the name of all that is holy, Donald Trump is going to be the keynote speaker, right? At that location, Michael S. will be present to advocate for Bitcoin and speak about it. Are you of the opinion that this is the most bullish of all the speakers who will be present, including Edward Snowden, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and Kathy Wood, as well as all the politicians who will be constructing on these technologies? There is no doubt that this conference will provide us with nothing but positive information, which has never happened before in our entire experience. On account of the fact that this is an election year, there is little question that the market will become more bullish. In the event that everything goes according to plan, I would vote for a new president in the United States because the present president has reached the end of his term and has decided not to compete for re-election. On the other hand, if we are successful in electing a new president, that person will be pro-crypto and will really enact rules for businesses. This would result in a significant infusion of cash into the cryptocurrency markets, which will in turn enable the economy of the United States to develop. As I have stated previously, it is only possible for retail investors to use these Bitcoin marketplaces and manipulate them under certain circumstances. Due to the fact that institutional finance is necessary in order to gain access to the market, our money can only go so far at the moment. It has come to light that John Dine asserts that he has put 80% of his net assets in Bitcoin. Moreover, he has significant holdings in the cryptocurrencies Ethereum, XRP, and Solana. Isn't it true that Dion is, after all, still relatively uncomplicated? At the moment, he is going over his list. As a first point of interest, the Selena, which is ranked number two, is a hypothetical situation in which we do not count five of the four stables and XRPs. He is attempting to keep things straightforward. Since the man is aware of his passions, he is unable to critique them in that regard. His sole deficiency is that he does not possess BNB. Tree News, BlackRock's Daily is the source of this information, which was disseminated via a trustworthy cryptocurrency website. We investigate the data pertaining to Bitcoin exchanges. According to the block of the spot Bitcoin ETF flows for ETF 523 million, which comes from the block. When this was first unveiled, what were some? Of the things that we noticed, as was to be expected, we see a great deal of red, but is there anything else that we gradually noticed? What do you think, guys? Are we getting close to running out? And are the purchases starting to gain up steam? Take a look at this, is what we are seeing with instant messaging. Because we were all aware that the price of the Ethereum exchange traded fund ETF was going to fall, our goals were most likely to fall somewhere in the range of $26,800 to $28,900. Moreover, what will take place after that? During the current year, it will be raised to $5,000. There has been no change to the playbook. It would appear that just as Ethereum, everything is going to be different this time around. You should never be present for the ETF. Yes, that is not the case. Is that correct? In this manner, it operates. When news of an imminent exchange traded fund ETF began to circulate, you made a purchase of Ethereum. A rumor was purchased and the news was sold. ETF was made available. If you had sold, it would have been the greatest thing to do. You should get out of the business and reinvest the money when it is done, since that is when we will begin to see a return in net inflows. And this piece that was only recently released, it is anticipated that XRP would experience a significant increase. I won't divulge who is who, but everyone is an I. One of the most well-known surge experts, however, asserts that the third elite wave, yes, the third elite wave, has the potential to drive XRP up to $22. The analyst was the one who provided this recommendation. 